Thus star hopping using a Newtonian telescope and or inverting finder is straightforward with either kind of chart. However, there is a different optical design where using paper charts is more difficult. Scopes that contain a diagonal prism or mirror reflect light in a way that causes up and down to behave differently from right and left. The kinds of scopes pictured are the ones likely to have a diagonal. Let's go back to our eye chart example and demonstrate this. The diagonal removes a mirroring from the axis that is aligned with the mirror, but not with the other. Thus, if the diagonal is aligned to the telescope as shown above, the image is mirrored right and left, but is correct up and down. This is what the view would look like from the side. The takeaway from this is that no amount of book turning will allow a paper chart and image to agree. Computer programs allow you to control how the chart is rotated and mirrored. Best thing correct for optics using diagonals and still display charts that you can use as described in section 2. SkyMap Pro gives you controls that will mirror in either direction or rotate. That will allow you to adapt to any optics. SkyTools allows you to configure how your telescope optics work. For example, my finder is a correct view, but my Newtonian telescope mirrors and flips, rotates 180 degrees. You could further correct the rotation in the context viewer as I showed earlier. Programs also allow you to filter what is displayed to match the sky conditions. SkyTools does this by allowing you to directly enter the sky quality meter brightness for sight. Other programs allow you to filter the dimmest star plotted. The LMC chart I showed earlier was an example of what you can do with SkyMap Pro. SkyTools 3 will generate a chart that provides visual, finder, and eyepiece views on a single page. In this case, the chart contains the location of a comet at a time and viewing location. Previously, there was an unstated assumption that where you're using an altitude azimuth mount like a Dobsonian that permitted you to move the scope in any direction. What if you're using an equatorial? In that case, cardinal directions have more meaning. I'll explore this question in more detail in an upcoming video on it using equatorial mounts. This chart maps the constellation Cetus. Cetus contains a cluster of galaxies. I've marked some of the brighter galaxies in this cluster with red dots. When I observe, I tend to follow observing lists like the Messier lists. Since the Messier objects are distributed widely over the sky, this requires that I perform the basic align to the sky, put the red dot on a star, rotate the chart, verify the star steps, many times in an evening. A friend of mine who almost always uses paper charts suggests an alternate strategy. Pick an area in the sky and examine it in detail. What my friend does is to move from target to target, thoroughly examining this particular section of the sky. I use the LMC chart discussed above in a similar manner. I spent hours confirming every individual glow and collection of stars. This can be quite rewarding. The viewing location you choose will determine how hard or easy the star hop will be. Dimmer stars will disappear as you move from a rural location far from city lights into the central city. Seeing more stars will enable you to perform shorter hops. Let me demonstrate this. We'll start by looking at the Summer Triangle from the location of the California Summer Star Party. The map on the right shows the amount of light pollution measured with the Bortle scale, with black indicating pristine skies and white being the central city. Watch what happens to the dimmer stars as we move to more light polluted locations. At these locations the sky is still dark enough to see the Milky Way, but if you look closely dimmer stars disappear at each step. We're now approaching the central city. In the city only the brightest stars are visible. With fewer stars you'll have fewer reference points. This will make star hopping more challenging. I hope you found this video informative. Please check my website or Rob Hawley Astro on YouTube for future videos.